What up you guys? Welcome to the channel where we make StarCraft into one of the most epic ways to play, win, and get reactions from people. What's going on you guys? Hope you guys are well. So today I'm going to be playing a 2 vs 2 where you get to use battle cruisers, nukes, and also have to win a 1 vs 2. Alright guys, so I'm playing as uh, UP Zelot. I'm not him, so I'll put a pop-up note for those of you that are new to the channel. Um, guys, on my team, I've got uh, Nomoto Volk. Um, he's okay, he's not that great. I'm sure if you guys have played on US West, you guys might have encountered him before. Um, we've got uh, Aseleznev. <laughs> he's, uh, he's a pretty funny player. I love playing against him uh, because I always get the same reactions from him Like after five years of playing against him. and um, It's just funny because I play as different names and he, he doesn't know. So this game's going to be pretty funny to, uh, to get some reactions uh, from, from him. And then on his... Hey guys, if you guys like this sort of content, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on all the fun troll plays we're going to do on players. Like this one. And this one. And of course, this one. And as always guys, make sure to drop some thoughts, comments, or any fun ideas you guys may have. Alright guys, let's get back to the game. This team, he's this guy's the host, he's yellow. Um, uh, WWW, I don't know who he is, I'm sure he's a smurf, he's probably playing as a different account. Um, but uh, but yeah, he was uh, he was pretty funny as well too. Alright guys, so I opened up with a wall um, over at 9 o'clock. I love this base because I can actually take this wall here. You gotta be careful with this wall because they can actually gas you. And when they gas you, they can actually get zerglings to come in. Um, thankfully, there's no Protoss um, on the away team because they, they selected, um, so I don't have to worry about that. But I love the fact that uh, I can actually wall right here because I can actually siege out here and kind of block out anybody that's going to be down at 6 or 7. Um, and also, I can take the expansion, so I, I love to, uh, to use that base. I'm going to go into a, a traditional uh, tank drop, so I'm going to get a factory soon here, and then we're going to do some tank drops to, uh, to harass them. Um, my pub ally over here, he's, uh, he's pretty funny. He didn't uh, end up... Uh, staying long this game because <laughs> I didn't expect too much from him and uh, the way he was building was kind of uh, funny as as well too. I got another depot in front guys. Again, that's just to fortify the wall. I'm sure you guys have seen this enough by now so just want to make sure I kind of highlight it for those of you that are, again, new to the channel. I'll probably get a bunker as well too just so that um, uh, I can just kind of defend myself and not have to worry about putting any SCVs on the wall here. And plus that uh, that bunker is going to have more range as well too. So I saw that SCV, so I lifted and uh, I just want to wipe that out before he makes any uh, bunkers. Typically don't like to have an SCV in front because uh, they typically love to make bunkers and uh, and attack you. So factory is almost done guys. Um, and then we'll get some tank drops going. It looks like uh, the Terran is probably at 6 or 7. So... We'll find out soon here. I just sent an SCV just to go check Zerg, uh, just to kind of see what he he's building. Um, Brown Asilizinov, he's a, he's a pretty funny player. Um, he's he's you know definitely not bad um, in terms of uh, you know knowing his build orders, knowing what to do, his macro and whatnot. It's just um, you know I, I don't think his APM is um, fast enough. I think he's probably like around 150. Um, or maybe even a bit higher, but I think uh, like mid games, he's uh, he's typically a little bit confused in terms of what to what to do, especially if you're playing kind of unorthodox, which <laughs> which I love to to play. So you see, you guys will see that in a little bit here. So uh, looks like my ally is uh, sending another probe down uh, just to check seven o'clock. So it looks like he's going for a wall. Um, he's also asking me for a plan. I'm just going to be quiet and not say anything. So he's gonna it's gonna keep him very anxious. <laughs> Um, because he's definitely not going to know what to expect this game. So it looks like Yellow sending a Vulture out to scout. I got a bunker down, so I'm not too too worried here. Just going to leave the, that SCV uh, there in case if um, they're going to do like a early wall takedown. Um, and then it looks like I got the second tank coming out soon here, and the control tower is almost done. So we'll get the uh, we'll get the uh, the dropship going. My ally sending um, some Zlots over to one o'clock here and looks like he's going for four hatcheries. <laughs> Maybe he thinks we're noobs. I think that's probably why, because I'm playing as Conoroli. Um, so he's probably thinking we're noobs, so that's why he's kind of opening up in a pretty aggressive macro build here. So um, love how he went and just sacrificed all the Zlots, which is good. Just slowing him down a little bit here. What I was most worried about was actually him going um, uh, going middleless, but uh, looks like he's not, so that's awesome. Typically, if they're gonna make anything more than two uh, hatcheries, they're probably gonna do like hydroless and, and go macro. So, all right, so looks like my dropship is almost done, guys. Send the dropship down and uh, gonna see if I can do some harassments on seven o'clock here because I worry that uh, I don't see that many vultures on the map here, so I'm worrying that he's probably doing some sort of tech, maybe like race or something. So I want to make sure I kind of put him behind so that I ha I'm, I'm more ahead of him. 
So this map doesn't isn't the uh, the traditional um, BGH map. So it looks like they took out the uh, the cliffs. So I'll just have to do some uh, some minor harassments here. So there's actually a little gap here that I can drop tanks, which is good. And looks like he is going raid. So I love to do this because um, if they're going raid, you definitely have to drop them because raids actually take a long time to uh, to kill uh, siege tanks. And if you're gonna drop and you see. Uh, race definitely keep dropping don't run away uh, because what happens is it's gonna delay time for them to uh, to obviously mine and whatnot because look he wasted probably about like a minute in terms of mining time so I didn't want to siege there because I don't want him to leave I want to kind of preserve this game so again for those of you that are new to the channel I love preserving the game I love just to make sure that uh, they're gonna stay in the game so I, we can definitely do some fun troll plays so I'm gonna keep sending another um, uh, tank drop here just to again put more time behind him um, while I do that and while he's behind I got turrets up and, and whatnot um, I'm also gonna uh, slowly transition to into race as well too so um, while he's attacking my base he's got cloak so that's kind of typical for a, a Terran that's gonna um, go early race they're definitely gonna get cloak so I can't do too much because I got uh, turrets up already so while he's Trying to attack my base here, I am gonna send another drop ship here. I just hit it along the edge of the wall here, and I'm just gonna put some more time behind him because I want him to be uh, further behind me so that uh, I'll I'll have more race and uh, be able to harass him even more. So check this out. So just the fact that I did that, he has to run away his. SCVs. I'm willing to sacrifice these these siege tanks guys because um, putting time away from him is more important for me so that I can transition into race here. Um, I just need a few tanks because I think Brown is definitely going for Hydralis so I'm just going to get a few tanks here and that should be okay. So yeah I mean he's wasting a lot of time here just not being able to mine which is awesome. I love that. And um, nobody's able to help him either because uh, I think Brown is going for Hydralis so Alright, back home, I'm probably going to start getting the um, uh, the expansion down, guys. Alright, so it looks like he's cloaking, so I better run those. But I want to target as many SCVs as I can, because I know some of them are damaged from uh, the, the splash damage from tanks. So I just want to take out as many SCVs as I can. So this guy is definitely behind in terms of mining, and he's also behind in terms of SCV count as well, too. Because I think I took out probably like... 14 SCVs there so yeah he's definitely definitely behind and plus as well too what happens is when you do that they get um, they get kind of like flustered and uh, they kind of um, build really funny so you'll see that from yellow in a little bit as well too looks like Brown's trying to uh, counter me so I brought my SCVs down I'm just gonna fix that wall and uh, save myself there so that's good he wasted 12 hydrolis on me or maybe even more white is going <laughs> He's going Corsairs. I don't know why he's going Corsairs. He didn't need to. He should just get Goons, Storm. He should have Storm by now as well too. So it's funny he's, he's doing that because I've already got Race here with Cloak soon as well too. Alright guys, so I got the Command Center started. The second one started uh, for my expansion. I'm going to lay some tanks right here because I definitely know he's going to try to siege me later. Plus these tanks are going to block him from being able to come out and, uh, and attack 12 o'clock or even just come out in general. So... I got a turret down here because I definitely don't want to see any proxies coming up here. So I'll put a turret right there as well too. We'll get some nukes going soon as well too guys because uh, I love nukes. I want to see if I can nuke Ass Elizabeth because I don't think he's been on my... Um, he's been nuked yet on my on my nuke list. <laughs> so it's funny thing. funny thing is guys, I'm actually making a nuke list of uh, stream players on uh, US West that I love to uh, play against. So um, I've, I think I'm like 50% uh, through my list in terms of nuking the people that I want. Um, so there's there's some there's definitely some more people. So um, so yeah, he's Brown is definitely one of them because uh, he's funny. The reason why is because you know he's got this funny reaction where when you when you play against him and you do some funny unorthodox plays on him, he gets really upset and he thinks that you're a noob. And then I'll keep going back and doing the same and I'll do the same thing on him and he won't even realize that it's the same person. So it's uh, it's really funny. All right, let's transfer those SCVs over. I got the uh, covert ops down, so I'm gonna get. A nuclear silo down as well too and let's see what my academy is did i get my academy yet okay i didn't get my academy yet so we need that for the ghost upgrade the um uh, the range for the ghost as well too i am just sending um 
my my race around here. I just want to check to see if there's any expansions as well too. All right, and then I got my other second nuclear silo down as well. All right, got the academy started as well too. It looks like, yeah, he's trying to do a, um, a siege on me. He's trying to get turrets, which I typically would expect, uh, especially, you know, taking this uh, expansion here. So uh, it's got cloak, so I'll have to move my tanks back, save them a little bit. I'll have to get the turret down here. And then it looks like Brown's trying to counter my ally here, and I don't know what he was doing because he should have definitely had like um, at least four cannons with Storm by now, but <laughs> oh man, I didn't expect too much from him. So yeah, unfortunately he's gonna die and then I'll have to 1 vs 2, but it'll be guys, like I love 1 vs 2s anyways because it's it's pretty fun, it's challenging and whatnot, especially with players that, um, again, aren't that, aren't that great. Like these guys, I'd say they're probably like just um, around like entry level good, like they're not like... Um, uh, they're not like above good or very good or anything like that. They're just kind of entry level good. So he's got the storm down, but I think um, he just had it in the wrong position and got it too late because he should have those stormers right here with four cannons. That definitely would have helped him. I'm just gonna see if I can take out these uh, overlords for him. See if I can I can help him here. <laughs> There's not really much I can do because I'm kind of like all in on nukes right now. So yeah, I didn't expect him to uh, to die this easily. So. So I told him like why didn't you can in more and he's just silent, he had no answer for that. <laughs> I even killed 12 Hydralists for him because those Hydralists came and uh, and attacked me so yeah there's no reason why he should have uh, been dying here. He's got an expansion here um, but it's too late, he definitely should have made cannons much earlier here. That way um, at least he could have survived and I could have sent over some tanks for him but yeah, yeah I think he's probably going to die in about like a minute so. I got another expansion at uh, 5 o'clock here. I'm just going to hide it, guys, because I want more uh, gas. Because uh, ghosts and nukes and also uh, race are very expensive on gas. So, Alright, just going to get some turrets around here because I know um, Yellow's probably going to look at doing a drop on me soon. I expect right now that they're thinking like, okay, like we got this in the bag, like they're gonna they're gonna win this, which is kind of cool because I love that you know they they become more confident and they think they're gonna win. But if you can turn the game around and and win, uh, people get definitely very frustrated. So it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be pretty pretty funny here. So I'm thinking Brown is probably like expanding or something right now. Like I don't have scan because um, again, guys, I'm all in on. Um, on nukes here, so I'm not even investing in uh, scanners. I'm trying to maximize my gas and my minerals as much as possible and focusing it on nukes because it's pretty hard for me to get a game um, where uh, Asilisnev is uh, is in the game, he's going to stick around, and I can nuke him. So I definitely want to take advantage of this, this opportunity. Yellow is running around trying to do some harasses, but um, yeah, that's not going to work. Alright, so expansion is done down there, so I'll get some gas soon. And let's see what else. Okay, so typically when I nuke guys, I'm gonna make sure that I get Valkyries uh, for Zerg because um, you know, obviously they have overlords, and I think he has speed on his overlords as well, too. Um, so Valkyries are gonna be able to take out those uh, overlords pretty quick. Plus, I'll use them as a distraction so that he'll think. Uh, that I'm only attacking his overlords, but he, he'll miss, very likely miss the nuclear uh, warning um, signed. And so uh, while that happens, um, hopefully the nukes will be successful and it'll land down. So, And I'm willing to sacrifice these as well too, just so I can get the nuke down. Again, <laughs> anything for nukes, guys. So um, so yeah. Alright, so I think oh, I should have enough. Maybe I'll get like two more. I'll get a dropship. I've got two. Okay, I got the dropship. Got two ghosts. Where the nukes at? I got both nukes as well too. So I got turrets around my base guys because I, I think Brown might be doing a drop because he's definitely got speed for overlords. Yeah and looks like Yellow's trying to do a push up here likely so he might even try to push right here so I'm definitely going to put some tanks over here later as well too. Alright let's go for the nuke guys. So I should have enough here just so I can take out the overlords. I'm going to send those in first to scout to see if there's an overlords and then I'll make the drop. I hockeyed my two ghosts there, I grouped them. So now he's thinking that I'm just trying to target his overlords. I don't see any more overlords here, so that's good. Immediately I'm going to lay the nukes right there. And maybe he's just so focused on uh, trying to defend his overlords that he's going to miss it. So that's what I'm hoping here. I'm just going to run back and forth here and make him really, really busy. But I don't think he's going to see it. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh man, and we took out his hive and all of his drones, so he's probably like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh man, I love it. I mean, I think it's his first time getting used by me as well too, so... Yeah, I wonder what he's thinking right now, because I know he typically gets pretty uh, pretty frustrated. So, all right, guys, so back at home, um, I'm going to start uh, upgrading my uh, my air units, because I'm going to transition into uh, to barracks, or sorry, to, uh, to BCs here soon. Um, and I see, I'm seeing that he's trying to tank uh, the bottom of my base here, yellow. Um, so I'm going to send some siege tanks down. I'm just going to siege this to, uh, to protect myself. Typically, I'm going to go for Terran last here, because Terran is... He's likely only going to be doing um, advancements in, t in terms of tanks and maybe even drops. So if I just fortify myself enough, kind of box him in a little bit here, um, then you know I'll, I'll absorb all the attacks that he's going to take. What I really want to focus on is nuking Brown here, and I'm um, afraid of obviously Brown using Swarm and things like that, or maybe even getting Dolores. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to make sure I take him out first. Got the scan down as well too. So I scan through a clock and I see that he's got an expansion here. So I'm gonna drop uh, two ghosts there. Definitely want to take that out as well too. I don't want to give him the opportunity to expand. Just gonna lay it right in the middle here, and it doesn't look like he's got any overlords. So <laughs> that's gonna die pretty quickly there. He's probably like, "Who the fuck is this guy? He's chasing after all of my <laughs> all of my expansions, just taking them out and just targeting me." Oh man, so funny. Nuking Zerg is like, I think it has the best graphics because it looks it looks like there's so much gore and blood just popping out and oozing out. So yeah, I love it. Alright, I'm going to take out that uh, that barracks there. I don't want him to use it as range. Have the tanks down as well too. And it looks like he's only got plus one. So yeah, I think straight from the get-go because I, I harassed him quite a bit. He's kind of like... He's kind of like flustered and um, he's not playing correctly. It's typically typically what happens when you um, uh, when you harass a player. So it looks like he's uh, definitely going for guardians here. I see that there's guardians, and he's got hydralis, so he's probably going to do like a guardian push with hydralis. So I'm going to send my valkyries in, maybe we'll try to do some damage on those um, uh, those guardians there. And uh, guys, I love the ghost right here. So what happens is um, I don't expect this to be able to kind of defend for forever. Because he's probably going to use like 12 tanks, probably use like D-Matrix later as well too. So what I'm going to do is leave that ghost there. And that ghost is going to be basically basically like um, a last countermeasure in case if this gets wiped out or whatnot. I'm just going to nuke him so that uh, we'll take out all those tanks and units that are going to be there. So it's actually pretty awesome because like you can't kill a nuke. Um, and tanks, if you kind of nuke in the right position, um, his siege tanks won't have the range to be able to... Um, to take on my ghosts so all right so i see that there's an expansion here as well but there's no drones so i'm like debating should i take this out or should i take out his expansion um at the natural here so i'm like okay i'll just take out the expansion because um maybe i'll take out those drones as well too all right nukes coming down oh but he sees it <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he got a lot smarter here, so I'll take that down and check this out guys. He's sending all of his Guardians he didn't see that there's nukes. We took out all those guardians. We took out 12 guardians a couple mutas and a couple overlords Oh man, he didn't see it. It was too late. What a waste That must suck. He must be so frustrated all right, so back at home, guys. I got the battle cruisers down here, so it looks like we wiped them out quite a bit. So um, now I'll clean up with uh, with battle cruisers. So just waiting for plus two on armor here, which should be done pretty soon. I'm gonna send uh, two tanks as well too with the uh, battle cruisers, and uh, that should be enough because he doesn't have too many hydralis. Because I, I think I harassed him and nuked him quite a bit here, so he might be behind in terms of uh, unit count and definitely also um, economy. So. I scan 12, it looks like he's only got um, 12 Hydralis here, so I'm just going to drop it. I don't think he's going to be expecting Battlecruisers, so it's going to be <laughs> it's gonna be pretty funny. Getting nuked, and then all of a sudden you see Battlecruisers up on your, your doorstep is going to be pretty uh, pretty alarming if it happened to me. Oh, he's even got plus... Oh no, that's sorry, that's me. I got plus 3 on weapons. I thought it was plus 3 on him. Alright, so we'll take out this expansion. So what I want to do and what I want to focus on is really taking out the um, expansions, taking out their economy, and uh, and then I slowly kind of um, peel back the onion and we'll, we'll go after the uh, the main base. 
Looks like we had to do a trade. I had nothing down here. I didn't expect it to, to live long anyways, because again, it's, I didn't want to spend too much um, supply defending 5 o'clock, so we did a trade there, and uh, he took out my 5, but I took out pretty much um, his lifeline here, so... He put the spire right there, which is kind of funny, so... We'll take that out. Um, look at this, we'll take all of those scourges as well, too. And I see that he's got... I see that he's got Hydras there, so I'm just gonna siege my tanks right there. I'm just gonna pull my battle cruisers back a little bit, and I'm just gonna siege over. And uh, he doesn't have the rage, range advantage, so so yeah. So it looks like he's yeah he's he's pretty flustered. He's being he's being um, taken advantage in terms of range here. So and then looks like yellow is trying to do a push on me here. So let's see if I can defend it. If I can't, I'm gonna pull that pull that ghost back, and I'm gonna lay a nuke. See if I can defend it. Okay, looks like I can defend it. So back at 12 here, it's still taking out all those hydras there, guys. And then looks like he, because he put his buildings on the edge here, I guess he was trying to hide it or something. It's kind of good for for me. So I'll just take out the the den, the greatest spire, and everything there. And I'm just gonna keep taking advantage of that range there. Are you modeled one of his um, devourers there? Alright, so back at 1 o'clock, guys, looks like... <laughs> looks like Asilisniv, he doesn't have anything left here because... Yellow's pretty much trying to focus on killing me. And, uh, and Brown here, like, I don't think he ever, he's ever played a game like this before where he's gotten nuked. Um, having his whole economy nuked and then having battle cruisers show up pretty quick here, so... <laughs> he's probably a little bit confused as to, like, how this happened. And probably who I am is, as well too, because I'm playing as Conoroli. Conoroli again is not that great, um, so he's probably a little bit surprised and shocked. Battle cruisers are definitely not one of my favorite units because they're just slow. I wish if they were like as fast as carriers, then I might enjoy it more. But all right, so look back at nine o'clock here. It looks like Yellow's trying to do a drop, but I mean I've got tanks down here, so there's not much he can do. I brought down my battle cruisers here just in case, just to uh, support. I want to take out this base here, and uh, I'm assuming he's over at three o'clock. So he's still got another den here. He made two more spires afterwards. Just want to take out everything here, and then we'll slowly go to three o'clock and we'll clean up. All right, so I scanned three o'clock. Looks like he's uh, restarting a base here. So I'm just gonna send uh, my battle cruisers down, and then we'll clean up here. Yeah, I mean, he got plus three on <laughs> armor and attacks, so... Brown is pretty frustrated. He's like, help. <laughs> yeah, he called his ally an idiot as well, too. Oh, man, it's too funny. Yeah, so there you have it. Looks like Azul is enough. He, he left here. So I'm just going to send my battle cruisers back, and then uh, we'll do a finale at uh, yellow here. Maybe we can do some... Uh, new motto as well too. So it looks like Yellow's trying to push my frontier, so I laid a nuke down, guys. Um, that's what I'll do. It's kind of like a last countermeasure so that I can wipe out all those units there. So it looks like he's all in. He's all in on trying to push me at 9. I don't think he saw the nuke, guys. <laughs> oh my god, that's too funny. Oh man, he lost every almost everything there with the, with the nuke, so... All right, there you have it, guys. Hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. That was pretty quick, uh, fun. This game wasn't that um, adept in terms of skills or, or whatnot, but again, it was just pretty fun just to be able to kind of use uh, battle cruisers, lay some fun nukes down on on Zerg, especially on a player that uh, I have a lot of fun playing against for the past um, five years. Nothing against him or anything, guys. Like this guy is just really fun to play against, so that's why um, I, I was all up for this as soon as I saw him in this game. So. Uh, guys, if you're new to the channel, come check out some more content that we have. We've got tons of different playlists uh, when it comes to troll plays and whatnot. We've got things like uh, Mass Broodling, got Nukes, obviously, we've got Mass Scouts, Mass Race, um, Infested Marines, tons of stuff. So check it out, guys. Drop some thoughts, some funny thoughts, comments, or any fun ideas you guys may have as well, too. And definitely, if you guys could support me in terms of subscribing, that would be phenomenal. Um, and thanks so much, guys, for your support. I love it. All right, guys. Look forward to seeing you guys in the next one.